on behalf of uh, my chairman, who is standing in for the Senate President this morning. I have the pleasure of welcoming and addressing this important gathering of top government functionaries at the hands of affairs of various ministries, departments, and agencies, MDAs, of the federal government. This interactive session is portion of the request of Mr. President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federation, for the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to mm. consider mm. and approve the 2022-2024 medium-term expenditure framework, MTEF, and fiscal strategy paper. During the Senate sitting on July 12, 2021, the request was referred to the Joint Committees of the Senate on Finance, National Planning and Economic Affairs, Foreign and Local Debt, Banking, Insurance, and other financial institutions, Petroleum Resources Upstream, Downstream Petroleum Sector, and Gas and Gas for Additional Legislative Action. Since the inception of the Ninth Senate in 2019, the Senate had considered and approved three medium-term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy papers which set the fundamentals for the implementation of two appropriation acts and a supplementary appropriation act that was recently passed. In spite of the unprecedented negative economic impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic that is still ongoing, the target of returning our budget cycle to January to December was achieved and is being sustained. Budget implementation have imposed tremendously, and the nation, sorry, budget implementation have, have uh, budget implementation has improved tremendously, and the nation has been able to pull through a recession. Let me place it on record at this point that the Senate Committee on Finance started an investigative hearing on 9th March 2021 on the remittances of all revenue generating agencies of government, government to the Consolidated Revenue Account for the, for the Federation, as well as payment of the 1% stamp duty on all contracts executed in all MDAs. The investigation, which is still ongoing, is targeted at the goal of boosting revenues of the government in face of dwindling resources from traditional revenue source of crude oil. It is also uh, premised by the need to reduce government, government yearly budget deficits, resulting in massive borrowing from local and international sources. It is apparent that the borrowing trends cannot be allowed to continue unchecked, and conscious efforts must be made to reduce budget deficits. Achieving these goals requires us to look inward towards re revenue generation by the MDAs. Our preliminary findings and directives to some of the agencies had led to payment of millions of Naira into CRF in accordance with the Fiscal Responsibility Act 2007 and the 1999 Constitution. It is needless to say that these millions not paid to CRF contribute, sorry, it is needless to say that these millions now paid to CRF contribute to the yearly budget deficits of the federal government. The investigation was also able to get some agencies to accept opting out of the federal budget altogether based on their internal revenue generating ability. Some of these findings will further guide the proceedings of this three day uh, interactive uh, session. From the challenges facing our nation in the post COVID 19 pandemic, and long down era. It is time for all to agree that it cannot be business as usual for government revenue and expenditures. We need to block all revenue leakages and misuse in MDAs as well as control expenditure therein to free funds for needed infrastructure development and provision of social services. On behalf of my colleagues in the joint uh, committee, I welcome you all to this urgent and important meeting and look forward to a robust interactive session. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Distinguished Senator.
Jibril Issa, a church, that is the vice chairman of the Senate Committee on Finance, for reading the speech of the chairman. Uh, before we proceed, I'd like to recognize the single senator Clifford Odia. He's the chairman, Senate Committee on Local and Foreign Debts. So you're welcome. The Senate President, once again, very well represented by my dear chairman, Chairman, Senate Committee on Finance, my distinguished colleagues here present, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you very much for honoring our invitation to be here today. I want to thank you very, very much for honoring our invitation to be here today. It's a lot of sacrifice on the part of everybody. Uh, in the course of our interactive session with the various revenue generating agencies some time ago, we discovered that there are so many leakages, revenue leakages. I want to urge all of us to work on these leakages. Because at the end of the day, as has been pointed out several times by several people concerned Nigerians, we need these revenues. We need these revenues to minimize our level of borrowing. Okay? Secondly, and very importantly, you also need to embark on various cost control measures. Quite okay, we know that some of the cost elements are fixed. Okay, but you need to work seriously on your variable cost. And on, even on the long run, the fixed cost, you can work on them. Because as is always said in economics, on the long run, all costs are variable. You can work on your cost component, on your fixed cost components. So we employ you to, as much as possible, put in all forms of measures to address your cost control. We need that to also step up on our income or on our revenue. Meanwhile, I know that uh, you must have put in so much effort to come up with various presentations here today, uh, but I want us to have an open mind to the discussions here, okay? While we appreciate the efforts we have put in, you should also be mindful and receptive to the suggestions that will be coming from our end, okay? So that at the end of the day, whatever conclusions we arrive at here will be in the overall interest of Nigeria. On that note, I want to thank you very much once again for coming, and I wish all of us very robust deliberations. Thank you.